Hey guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. As you might know, if you've seen some of my previous videos this month, I'm focusing on drugstore and affordable makeup. So I wanna do a few videos where I do a full face of drugstore makeup so I can show you how some of my favorite products actually apply and you know just share them in action with you guys. So that's what I have for you today. I have some new releases, some older products, but I do have to say thank you to Elf Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. Elf is one of my favorite brands of all time. I've been using their products for years before I even filmed YouTube videos. So it is so much fun to be able to partner with them to share today's video. So I will be using some new e.l.f. products from their Retro Paradise collection, a couple of other e.l.f. favorites, and then some other drugstore products as well. If you guys didn't know this, e.l.f. actually stands for Eyes, Lips, Face. They have so many amazing products at affordable prices. They are cruelty-free, 100% vegan. I'm going to link everything that I used in today's video in the description box below. So if you guys want to try any of these products, you can shop everything that I'm using in the description box. But let's jump into it and I'll show you guys how I got this look. So I'm just going to kick things off with the e.l.f. oil control liquid lotion. I just got a new bottle of this because I did finish up the one that I was using. I purchased this back in February. So I've been using this pretty much every single day since March and it's definitely a favorite of mine because it just allows my skin to stay matte a little bit longer. I really like the texture of this lotion. It's very thin, it's really hydrating, but it does prep your skin really well and just keep it matte. I'm also going to prep my skin with the e.l.f. oil control primer mist. I've been talking about this on my channel for years, but this product is again, really great if you have oily skin. I just like to spray it directly into my hands and then press it where I get the most oily. So for me, that is right around my nose and then also my forehead. This product just feels really refreshing on the skin. It is a water-based primer, so it's incredibly lightweight and it just sinks into the skin well. But again, it will keep my skin from getting too oily, which is definitely important for me during the summertime. So for foundation, I'm going to be using one of my favorites for summer. This one is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation, and I have the shade Light Beige. I really like the texture of this product because it's very thin and really lightweight, but it still works well to even out my skin tone, cover any redness, and it does stay in place really well. So I just like to work in sections. I'm using the e.l.f. airbrush blender brush. This is part of their new retro paradise five piece collection, which I've been loving. I've always loved e.l.f. brushes, but if you guys want to try them out, this might actually be a good set because it comes with two different cheek brushes and three different eye brushes. So I'll use them in today's video so you guys can see how they apply. This is a good brush for foundation. It's a little bit more fluffy, so it kind of gives you more of like a diffused airbrush finish, but you can also use it for powder, bronzer, blush. So I'm just going to stipple this product onto the skin. I'm not going to go in with too much because I'm not looking for an intensely full coverage base, but I do want to even out this redness. I really like the fact that this one does blend out so easily because if I'm in a hurry and I still want to go for more of a medium to full coverage look, this foundation just takes a few seconds to blend out, which is always really nice. Okay, so that is what the foundation looks like. I think it actually might be like a shade or two too light for me. I did get a little bit of a tan, so maybe I can go up a shade or two, but once I do the rest of my makeup, everything should come together. So when it comes to concealer, I've been mixing these two e.l.f. formulas together for the past few months. I have the 16 hour camo concealer in the shade light sand, and then I also have the hydrating camo concealer in the shade light beige. The 16 hour camo concealer is more of a matte finish, and then the hydrating one gives you more of a satin finish. So I just love Love mixing them together to get the perfect balance. So I'm going to start with the 16 hour camo concealer in the shade light sand and I'm just going to take a little bit of that right here because this is usually where I want more of the brightness and then I'm going to go in with the hydrating version in the shade light beige and just add a little bit to balance it out. So I'll just go right here and kind of under the eyes. And then I'm just going to use this brush and blend it out under the eyes and then also right around the nose. I get so red right around my nose and just on my nose in general. So I always like to add some concealer all the way down here as well. So how is your summer going so far? Is summer looking a lot different for you guys? It definitely is for us. During the summer we like to, you know, just travel a little bit, go out of town do some fun things, but this summer we have just been home. It's been a very low key, quiet summer so far, which I have to say is kind of nice. I feel like summer has a tendency to go by so quickly because there's so much that goes on in the summer. And if you're on vacation or you're trying to see family or just do like, you know, summer events at home, before you know it, the summer is over. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of concealer right between my brows and then right on my chin as well. 
just to balance things out. But this summer, obviously, there hasn't been a lot going on. Where I live, everything is still pretty much shut down. Like a couple of places are starting to open up, but I feel like people still aren't going anywhere, us included. We pretty much stay home, you know, whenever possible. I'm just going to set that concealer into place and then I will go in with a powder to set the rest of the face. So to set the rest of the face, I'm going to go in with my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Powder and I have the shade Porcelain. And I'm just going to use my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge, which I always use with my powder to kind of set everything into place. I love using just a slightly damp sponge to apply powder because it just allows everything to go on in more of a natural way. This isn't like a new, you know, beauty hack by any means, but I think a lot of people use beauty sponges to apply liquid products like concealer and foundation. But if you're someone who wears powder and you feel like sometimes you're powder looks a little bit too powdery on the skin try using it to or try using a sponge to apply it like a slightly damp sponge I love this powder because it just gives your skin a very smooth appearance it has a little bit of coverage but it's definitely not anything too intense so I just feel like it helps to kind of glide over any problem areas and give everything almost like a little bit of an airbrushed finish so for the eyes I'm going to prep them with the profusion no budge eyeshadow primer this is a very very lightweight eyeshadow primer that just blends out easily it doesn't really add any extra coverage to the eyes but it's very thin and just kind of provides a very smooth surface before you go in with eyeshadow. I'm actually just going to take the lightest shade from my e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette in Cream and Sugar and just use this to set the eyeshadow primer into place before I go in with any other shadow. This is my favorite Bite sized Eyeshadow Palette. I actually had this and I was using it so often and then I dropped it one day when I was doing close-up shots. So I did recently repurchase this because I end up using this so often. The Bite sized Eyeshadow Palettes are definitely some of my favorites. So I was thinking about using them for today's look, but instead I wanted to use another palette that I've been loving. Today I'm using the e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette. I purchased this as soon as they released it because I thought the colors were so much fun and I haven't regretted it at all because I've been using it so often. There's so much you can do with this palette. There are some warm neutrals, some bright colorful tones. There are so many different looks that I want to create. I was thinking about doing like a really colorful look, but I think for today's video I just want to focus on like one of my summer staple looks, which is pretty much like a warm toned neutral golden eye, but I think I'll do another video using like the purples and the blues so you can see what kind of look you can create with those as well. Actually, let me do my brows really quickly off camera. I don't have a drugstore brow pencil. I thought I did as I was getting ready for this, but I put like all four of my drugstore or affordable brow pencils in my project pan for 2020 and I used all of them up and I haven't repurchased a new one since then. So I'm just going to use what I have and then I'll be right back to do my eyes. Okay, my brows are done. So for the eyes, I'm going to start with the shade Dijon which has a little bit of a yellow undertone to it and I'm just going to blend that into the crease and then also up as a transition color. The mattes in this palette are really blendable. What's also nice about this formula is that it is a buildable formula so you can go in with a little bit for like a lighter wash of color or you can work to build it up. I love this Dijon shade because I feel like yellow is the one color that really intimidates me when it comes to eyeshadow but this kind of adds like a little bit of a yellow touch to the eyes without being too intense. So I also like taking this shade and then any metallic and placing it all over the lid for a quick and easy look. So I'm going to do the other eye and then I'll be right back. So next I'm going to be using the same brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of the shade Sandy Bum and work that into the crease and not blend that quite as high just to deepen things up a little bit. So tomorrow Brady and I have an appointment to have a meet and greet with a pug at a local shelter. I don't know if everything's going to work out or not. So this is just like the initial stages. But I saw this senior pug online. I saw a post about him. He's 12 years old. He is so adorable. And he needs a home. And if everything works out, I'll definitely share more details with you guys. But Brady and I do have two pugs right now. One is like more of a true pug and one is a Jack Russell pug mix. Their names are Charlie and Kenny. Charlie is seven and Kenny is six. And Kenny's a girl and Charlie's a boy. And I love them so much. They are my best friends. They follow me around all day long. And we've kind of talked about getting a third dog on occasion. It's never really been set in stone. But I've kind of been looking for a rescue for like the past two years. 
and I wasn't necessarily looking for a puppy or a middle-aged dog. I just felt like I needed to see like the right one that worked out well for our situation and our home life and just one that would feel really comfortable in our home because we do have two dogs and this one just jumped out at me immediately. So I'm not 100% certain if everything's going to work out. We're going to go meet him tomorrow and bring Charlie and Kenny to meet him. But if they all get along and we get approved, then we could potentially have a new addition to our family. So I'm going to take the e.l.f. blending eye brush. This is also from the Retro Paradise collection and then take a little bit of the shade Coconut and work that into the outer corner and then up into the crease. This is a pretty rich shadow. So I'm just going to go in with a small amount and blend it out and then keep building it up until I get the desired intensity. If this particular pug doesn't work out, which I hope he does, but if he doesn't, then I think we might consider fostering dogs. You know, the only reason why I hadn't pursued that sooner is because I always thought like I couldn't do that. Like I couldn't bring a dog into my home and then have to part with it because I would be so sad. But I had read this article a few months ago about this person who did foster dogs and they kind of talked about like how they loved being able to be that person who would kind of take care of the dogs until they found their forever home. And I just thought that was really nice. I wasn't 100% sure how my dogs would do with it, but now that they're a little bit older, I mean, they're not old, they're six and seven, so they have calm down quite a bit and like once every week or every two weeks they actually go to like dog daycare and play with other dogs so I honestly think they would do really well with it so I'll definitely keep you guys posted either way if we do end up getting this little pug if not you know if we decide to foster or adopt but again if you guys have any experience with fostering dogs I would love to know I'm just going to take the shade coconut and build this up on the other eye and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just taking this blending brush and just kind of working over the edges one more time before I go in with some of the lid shades. So on my ring finger, I'm going to take the shade Rise and Shine, which is a really, really gorgeous gold. And I'm just going to place this on the inner corner all the way across the lid, or from the inner corner all the way across the lid just kind of leaving the outer corner out just a little bit. This is an intense metallic. It's really, really gorgeous, really smooth. The metallics in this palette just apply so beautifully. And then I'm just going to go in with that same brush and blend out the edges one more time, just to make sure everything looks really even and smooth. Okay, next I'm going to take a little bit of one of these liquid glitter shadows from e.l.f. I have two different shades, so I'll actually swatch them both for you guys in case you're interested in seeing what they look like. But the shade I'm going to use today is 24 karat gold, which is very, very similar to what I'm wearing all over my lid. But I'm going to take a little bit on a brush. This one is the flat eyeshadow brush, which is also part of the five piece collection I've been using. And I'm just going to pat this in the center. Like I said, it is really, really similar, but this one is just going to add like a pop of sparkle right to the center of the eye. I've really been into these liquid shadows lately. I feel like I tend to reach for liquid shadows during the summer because they're just very, very easy to work with and they stay in place so well. So even if it's a really hot day out, you don't have to worry about your eyeshadow melting all over the place. And then I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye and let it dry. So to finish off the lid, I'm just going to take a little bit of this gorgeous duochrome shade and place that all over the center and maybe kind of blend it into the inner corner as well. This is a really gorgeous topper shadow, so you can layer this over anything, whether it is this really bright gold or even any of the other shadows in the palette, and it's just going to give it a little bit of like a gorgeous shiny finish. Before I apply shadow on the lower lash line, I'm just going to apply this liquid liner. This one is from e.l.f. It is their H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen. I always have a hard time doing eyeliner on camera because when I'm normally doing my eyeliner, I get super, super close to the mirror, but I will do my best to capture part of this at least. <laughs> so for the lower lash line, I'm just going to take the shade Sandy Bum and start to blend that out just to kind of match what I did on top. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the shade Rise and Shine and just kind of add that as well. So to finish up the eyes, I'm using two different mascaras. I am using the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara on the top lashes. This just makes my lashes look really long and dramatic, so it's perfect if I'm not wearing lash extensions or I don't want to apply false lashes, which I typically don't. I honestly can't remember the last time I used them. And then on the bottom lashes, I'm going to use the Essence What The Fake Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara. I really like this one for the bottom lashes because the wand grabs onto every single lash and coats it so well, and I don't don't have a lot of lashes so I find that this really enhances my bottom lashes so well and it stays in place all day long. 
I'm going to take a little bit of the shade canvas and blend that on my brow bone just to highlight and kind of make everything come together a little bit more. Okay, so that is it for the eyes. I just applied a little bit of concealer on that freckle on my nose and now I'm just going to go in with the cheek products. So I'm going to start with the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer, which is one of my favorites. This one is in the shade Forever Sunkissed. I love this formula because it's very, very blendable, really smooth, just really easy to work with. So I'm just going to blend that onto the cheeks and also up around the hairline and just kind of add a little bit of warmth to the skin. If you're looking for just a very smooth bronzer, this is a great option. They have a couple of different shades. It's $6 and it's been one of my go-tos for a few years at this point. I also really like the primer infused blushes. I just feel like that line as a whole is very, very smooth and easy to work with. So for blush, I'm going to be using this Essence Blush in the shade Bespoke. This has been my go-to. It's a really gorgeous, warm blush, and it has a little bit of a sheen to it, so it just looks so natural on the skin. And I'm just going to apply a little bit on my cheeks. I really like this formula because it is so blendable. It can be subtle, but you can also build it up. But again, it just has like a gorgeous natural sheen, so it gives your skin like this very healthy glow. And then for highlight, I'm just going to take the gold shade from my Flower Beauty palette and apply that onto the cheeks just to kind of tie everything together. And I'm really going to focus this on like the apple of the cheeks. Again, I just kind of like an all over glowy cheek look these days. I think it looks really nice and fun for summer. And if you don't go in with too much of this, it doesn't necessarily look like you applied a ton of highlighter on the apples. It just makes it look really shimmery and pretty. And then I always do like the nose, the chin, and then I'm also going to use this shade on the inner corner of my eyes. I typically just use my highlighter on the inner corner because I feel like, again, it kind of ties everything together. And then let's finish up with the lips. So for the lips, I'm going to be using some of the products from the e.l.f. Retro Paradise line and Shine Lip Kit. So it comes with four different lip liners and then also a clear gloss with a lot of shimmer, which goes nicely on top of all four. So I think I'm going to go in with this really pretty warm toned nude. So I'm just going to use this pencil to line my lips and fill them in. I do have a few of the lip glosses from the Retro Paradise collection as well. The one that comes with the kit is called A Moment, and I think that's what I'm going to go with on top of this. It's such a pretty, clear, sparkly gloss. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I definitely wanna do more videos where I do like full face drugstore videos during the month of July. So if there's another look you wanna see, let me know. I'm going to link everything that I used in the description box below. So if you guys want to try anything out, you can click the links and check out the products. I'll also list all of the brushes that I use. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'll see you very soon with a new one. Bye.